Greetings everyone, today we are going to talk about Early Geno's new leaks. Early Geno's new leaks have some serious problems. If you have already heard about it, then you know what I am talking about, but if you don't, let me tell you. Early Geno's new leaks suggest <laughs> that he is going to meet a demise by the end of the quest. Now, let me talk about the leaks in more details. First of all, there is a high chance of meeting her demise by the end of the quest. That's what the leakers said. They said it's around 90%, which is actually uh, a bit too high actually. But don't worry, there are still some details that suggest that Alicheno is not going to die. Now, there are some things that suggest otherwise. First of all, Arli Cheno's character. Have you seen her on the quest? She is cunning. Unlike La Signora, she is very smart to begin with, which is another reason why she might not die. <laughs> one of the reasons why La Signora died is because she faced Ryzen Shogun, and Ryzen Shogun is one of the strongest Archon. And the another reason is because La Signora was too aggressive towards the travelers. Last but not least, La Signora is 8 ranker in Harbinger's power ranking and early Geno is actually the 4th. She is both cunning, smarter and stronger than La Signora. Also do you remember from how many places Traveller has seen La Signora and hated her more than anything? The last time it was Inazuma but the first was Monster, second was Liyue. In my opinion, having a bit of diversity is actually a good option for the fandom of Genshin Impact because it's gonna allow players to choose their own liking of characters. Some people like villains, some people like heroes. Now liking villains is not a wrong thing, it's just a choice that you're choosing the bad side or sometimes the villain is always not wrong. Also in that factor, Fatu is not the bad characters of all time, it is heavenly principle. Taking the new leaks into account, I'm not sure about Ali Cheno's dying or living or being playable or being a non-playable character and just an NPC forever, I don't know. But one thing I'm sure about that some leakers have confirmed that on the 4.3, it's going to be Navia's release. She's a Claymore, not a Catalyst, Zeo character. Now, why I said about the 4.3 banner? Everyone on Genshin Impact was talking about the Harbinger's release on 4.3 But it's changed now, it's changed After this change, only one thing comes to mind That Fontaine probably is not gonna hold any banner with a Fatui Harbinger on the, as the feature character Harbinger might still release on like 4.4 or 4.5 or 4.6 but I'm not sure anymore because there are currently no leaks suggesting on which banner the Harbinger on Op Fontaine will be released. Many people are now considering Sandron will be released instead, but I still want to know on which banner, which version is it? 4.4, 4.5 or something. On 4.4, I believe it's going to be Madam Ping, which is also a new change because Cloud Retainer was supposed to leave. I'm I mean on 4.4 it was Cloud Retainer to be released but now it's Madam Ping and Madam Ping was well, some people said that she's gonna be a 5 star I mean 4 star but I was thinking why would she be a 5 star I mean a 4 star character and not 5 star but yeah everyone is now talking about her being a 5 star character but the element is still not known or maybe the leaker said it and I didn't notice so if you guys know about the element then good thank you guys for watching this video if i find any new information regarding early channel's playability or her death or a new harbinger being playable i will bring it to you guys see you next time